Good evening, basketball fans. I'm Don Poyer, alongside Bob Elliott, and welcome to TD Waterhouse Center for this exhibition game. If I could watch only one game this week, I think this would be the one. Both of these teams have some great competitors on their roster, so look for some great individual efforts throughout the game. Plays it in. Hughes will bring it up court. They're doubling on the ball. If they can run a few isolation plays for him, he'll come up with points. McGrady with a defensive foul. First foul in the last two minutes. Stackhouse to the line, shooting one. Jerry Foul shot is good. Back on D. Gives it off to Armstrong. Oh, you could almost hear the defender's teeth rattle. Step up the D, boys. Hughes sets it up on the right side. One on one, this player's hard to stop. He's charged with a foul. Stackhouse goes to the charity stride for two. He's one for two from the line. Makes the second. We stop them here. Armstrong sets it up on the right side. His teammates are giving him room for the ISO. And he can get him room, he can really operate. Stackhouse with a defensive foul. Jerry Stackhouse. McGrady to the line for two. In the last two minutes. First one is good. McGrady sinks them both. They try to make it hard for him to score by doubling down on him. Swats it away. Jordan with the foul. The referee caught the defender in the act. This player will be near the top of the free throw standings for the season. It'd be nice to see him take top honors in that category. I'd say he deserves it. He's three for three from the line. McGrady makes the second. Hughes sets it up on the left side. Stackhouse's ability to create his own shot makes him a dangerous offensive threat. Armstrong's a real energizer for this team, Bob. You only know if I'm play one play in that. Stackhouse is called for the foul. Level, this is the kind of guy you want to see your players watch. I got to admit, he has flawless technique. He's five for five from the line. Hughes will bring it up court. He sets it up on the right side. The rest of the team gave him some room to operate. Russell from the low post. Russell. See if they can get something on this last possession. Each guy has their work cut out for them as they go man to man on D. Russell missed five. They're off and running. Norton is called for the defensive foul. Defensive foul. This guy is Michael like a silent Jordan. assassin to the line. line. Yeah, on a good night, he'll get six or eight extra Armstrong. points from here, and you won't even remember how. It's the second shot. Use the club. At the end of the first quarter, the Magic lead the Wizards 14 to 9. We saw some good play from this team, but that didn't help on the scoreboard. Fundamentally, this is a sound ball club, but sometimes it just gets all lost in the execution. Pulls the trigger. Nails the J. Sends it to Armstrong. He let that shot go just as soon as he came clear of the screen. Russell will bring it up court. The 
they're hoping to cause some turnovers with this double team. Anytime he can get the isolation, his eyes light up. Russell with a finger roll. Ryan Russell. Armstrong sets it up on the left side. You got to watch that player when he isolates his man. Looks like they want to try to get the ball to their outside shooters for the three. We're seeing some of their shooters go out to the arc. Hmm, you think they might be thinking three-pointer here, Dom? Hughes sets it up on the right side. With a nice shot fake, he lets it fly. Garrity gets the rebound. He takes the rock to the rack and powers it down. The Magic are up by five. The assist to number eight, Pat Garrity. Hughes sets up the offense. Steal. The Magic with the ball. They swing back to the attack. Finger roll. When it comes to shooting, this man is unstoppable. The Magic are ahead by seven. is looking to get something in the post. They want to try to get the post players involved. Powers it down with a two-handed jam. Washington is behind by five. Larry. Last one, let's get inside. As a former Raptor, T-Mac felt like he was option number two. There's no question he's the main man on this team. Oh, watch the clock, watch the clock! The three! Brady misfires at the half. Orlando is ahead 20 to 15. Bob, their coach looked a little surprised to be down at half. Well, he knows his guys are capable of playing better than what we've seen so far. He just doesn't understand what's wrong with him. Brown, good fake. He buries the shot. Tommy Brown, the assist to number 20, Larry Hughes. That's the bone jarring screen. If you're going to set a pick, you want to make it nice and solid. Bring it up court. He initiates the offense. They're changing up the D and they're showing zone right now. Block as he stepped up his defense. Most definitely. And Don, this player is showing some superb timing on that sequence to come up with the block. Oh, fantastic. They feel they match up well and will play some man-to-man -man D. Hughes sets a pick for the ball handler and is rewarded with a pass on the old pick and roll. The assist to Heidi White. Goes up. Buzzer with the two. Orlando is lining them up like a pinball machine going full tilt. Hughes is called for the offensive foul. That's his first personal team foul, number three. He thought about handing off with the screener. Unloads a three. Jordan collects the rebound. Washington runs the ball right back up court. That was a slick two and a jam. He's now got nine points. The assist. If they can get the ball to their shooters, we'll probably see a three-point attempt. Brady makes the shot. He has ten points. Hughes will bring it up court. He sets it up on the left side. He takes the jumper. He buries the shot. Jordan is charged with the foul. This feels like a real test for them. John, great teams are the ones that can stick together even when things get tight. This is one of those times. Shooting two, Grant Hill. Good. Gets the second shot. One shot. Hold the last shot. Good. 
Hughes. He's trying to get the ball into the post area. They can get points in the paint. It may open up the outside shot. MJ with the jumper. Out of bounds. Wizards ball. Shot clock is dead. White backing down. Hill picks up the defensive foul. White is using his speed to expose the defender. White is not what you would call it. One free throw. Hunter collects the rebound. After three, the Magic lead 29 to 25. Their coach has to be pretty happy with their play, so far anyway. You always want to go into the fourth quarter ahead on the scoreboard, but the big question is, can you hang on to that lead? He tickles the twine with another stop. Uh, this field goal percentage is off the chart. Hughes will bring it up court. He sets it up. The three drains it. He's got his game face on for this one. I can't remember the last time he missed. He's got power to great. Player of the game. 